Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. I am your host, Samuel DeGangi, reminding you right now, ah, before you do anything else, hit share, please hit subscribe. Uh, share helps in ways uh, that you would not believe. And I don't mean the singer. All right, friends. There's nothing like starting off the massive Fukushima update with a bit of news that instantly dispels all of the madness that we're hearing, uh, among other things, uh, particularly about the plant being safe and for it being safe to run the water into the ocean. That is because not only is the water that's processed being talked about being dumped into the ocean, but any water or runoff, however minute it might be, and from whatever source, which may not be the same source that which is being uh, detoxified, of which they can't get tritium out of the water anyway, this is constantly coming in contact with the environment, any water that washes over this, anything that comes in contact with this, you're going to laugh. <clears throat> Even insects that would creep around this reactor lid that I'm about to talk to you about um, could potentially infect anything, even flies. You know, birds have been found to spread nuclear poison by getting the and nuclear elements attached to them. And uh, it's not always terminal for the animal. It's spread a number of ways. But the bigger picture is that we've been told that this is safe. That we had nothing to worry about. This was all perfectly safe. Fukushima has no substantial threat to mankind beyond what we've already seen. Or really, this is from the Ashahi uh, Shimbun. Lethal radiation levels detected in Fukushima nuke plant reactor lid. September 15th, 2021, 12 days ago, the operator <coughs> of the crippled Fukushima number one nuclear power plant, that would be TEPCO, that would be GE, where you should never invest nor have a mutual fund, could be forced to reconsider the plant's decommissioning process after lethal radiation levels equivalent to those of melted nuclear fuel were detected near one of the lids covering the reactor. But we were told that, you know, a lot of this new new it dissipated. Not to dissipate for a million years, you dolt. The Nuclear Regulation Authority said September 14th that a radiation reading near the surface of the lid of the number two reactor's containment vessel was 1.2 sieverts per hour, higher than the level previously assumed. <clears throat> the discovery, it says, came on September 9th, <clears throat> excuse me, during a study by the NRA and uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company, and of course, TEPCO. Uh, they plan to insert a robotic arm into the number two reactor's containment vessel from its side in the trial planned for the second half of 2022, to retrieve pieces of melted nuclear fuel. Does anybody believe that this is going to be done by uh, the 30 to 40 year window? Anybody at all? I hear crickets. I hear nothing. We will consider what we can do during the trial on the basis of the detection of the concentration of contamination in the upper area of the containment vessel, a TEPCO official said. A round concrete lid called the shield plug is 12 meters in diameter and about 60 centimeters thick. The shield plug consists of three lids placed on top of each other to block extremely high radiation eliminating from the reactor core. Each lid weighs 150 tons. So we have massive pieces of metal now forever irradiated. When operators of the decommissioning, the shield plug will, <clears throat> when, excuse me, when operators work on the decommissioning, the shield plug will be removed to allow for the entry into the containment vessel. 
The NRA said a huge amount of radioactive cesium that was released during the meltdown of the number 2 reactor in March 2011 remained between the outermost lid and the middle, middle lid. In the September 9th study, workers bored two holes measuring 7 centimeters deep, each on the surface of the outermost lid to measure radiation doses there by deploying remotely controlled robots. One radiation reading was 1.2 sievers per hour at a location 4 centimeters down from the surface in an area near the center of the lid. I'd like to know if this robot juiced out and died like every other one that they've done has happened to. Prior to the study, the NRA estimated that the dose from a contamination source that existed beneath the lid was more than 10 sievers per hour, a, lethal, a level lethal to humans if exposed to it for only one hour. That's it, for an hour. Oh, but there's nothing to worry about there. We're going to have this done in just a couple of years. <clears throat> the findings suggested that the actual dose would likely be dozens of sievers per hour, thus far more dangerous. While it is expected to be a huge challenge to dismantle the lids, TEPCO has yet to decide what to do with them during the decades-long cleanup work. The NRA also mentioned the possibility that radioactive cesium is also concentrated between the middle lid and the lowermost lid, but there is no way at the moment to confirm whether this is the case, according to the NRA officials. You're not going <clears throat> to be, then they, they, this is what's so frustrating to those of us who study this and actually know what we're talking about. There is no way that the containment plan, which they've put forth with these lids, is going to work. There is nothing in the science of radioactivity which would imply that this is going to be successful. This, this is hardly more than theater. <clears throat> Granted, they have to block it with something, but what's being hidden from everyone is the fact that this is far worse than they've admitted. And for those of us who are taking the time, the time to pick out these nuances when they come up, it's very, very clear to us that there is a problem that the whole world needs to be very, very concerned about, and they're not for the good of the bottom line through TEPCO, through GE. And if you look at this objectively, you study what these doses mean, I think you'll find out that the correct views are the ones that you find here. Thank you, friends. That's why you hit share. That's why you hit subscribe. I need you to do that.